applying themes themes are an inbuilt feature which offer you a quick way of changing the layout and design of the presentation that you have created each theme has its own set of colors fonts and effects to apply themes to your presentation open powerpoint and follow the given steps step 1 click on design tab step 2 click on the more drop down arrow all the available themes are displayed as you hover over the mouse pointer over a theme you can see a preview of the theme in the presentation step 3 Select the theme you wish to apply to your presentation. The theme is applied to the presentation. After applying a theme, you can select different theme colors and options from the variants group. Variants do not change the overall look of the theme. They only provide you different color, font, effect and background options for the same theme. A design ideas pane appears on the right side of the window. This pane shows you more design options for your presentations. You can scroll through the options to see if you like the design. Click on it to apply the idea to the current slide. You can change the theme any time from the design tab by repeating the same process. Modifying themes After choosing a variant, click on the more drop-down arrow in the variants group. You can change the colors, fonts, effects and background styles from the given options. Let us learn how to change these elements. Select new theme colors. To change the theme colors, follow the given steps. Step 1: Click on Design tab. Step 2: Click on the more drop down arrow in the variants group. Step 3. Select colors from the options. A menu opens with various color options. As you hover the mouse pointer over the color options, you can see a preview of the color in the presentation. This helps you to decide which color option looks best for your presentation. Step 4. Select the theme color you want to apply to your presentation. The colors are applied to your presentation. Select new theme fonts. To change the theme fonts, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on design tab. Step 2. Click on the more drop down arrow in the variants group. Step 3. Select fonts from the options. A menu opens with various font options. Step 4. Select the font you want to apply to your presentation. The font is applied to your presentation. Select new theme effects. The new theme effect is used to quickly change the appearance of the shapes in the presentation. First, insert a star in the slide and then apply effect on it. To apply new theme effects follow the given steps step 1 click on design tab step 2 click on the more drop down arrow in the variants group step 3 select the effects from the option a menu opens with various effects option step 4 select the effect you want to apply to your presentation the effects are applied to your presentation select new themes background styles to apply new theme background styles follow the given steps step 1 click on design tab step 2 click on the more drop down arrow in the variants group step 3 select background styles from the options a menu opens with options step 4 Select the background you want to apply to your presentation. The background styles are applied to your presentation. Working with Slide Master. Slide Master in PowerPoint is used to create the default layout and appearance of the slides in the presentation. 
When you add new slides in a presentation and apply a slide layout, the slide gets automatically formatted according to the Slide Master. Slide Master are commonly used for 1. Modifying and customizing the background of all slides at the same time. 2. Rearranging the placeholders of all slides at the same time. 3. Editing and text formatting such as font, font color, etc. of all slides at the same time. To create and modify slide masters, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on View tab. Step 2. Click on Slide Master command in Master Views group. The Slide Master task pane appears on the left side of the PowerPoint window. The Slide Master tab appears as the active tab on the ribbon. Step 3. Scroll up in the Slide Master task pane. The first slide is the Slide Master. Make the changes that you wish to make in the Slide Master. In this presentation, we will insert an Indian flag. Here you can insert, resize, move or delete the slide objects. We have resized the flag and moved it to the top right corner. Step 4. When you have made all the changes, click on Close Master View command to close the slide master. The changes that you have made appear on all the slides of your presentation. Changing the background To change the background of the slides, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on Design tab. Step 2. Select Format Background command in Customize group. A format background task pane opens on the right side of the window. It has four fill effects, solid fill, gradient fill, picture or texture fill and pattern fill. Step 3. Click on the radio button of the fill option you want. All the fill options are explained below. Solid fill. This option is used to add one solid color background to your slide. You can choose the color of your choice by clicking on the down arrow of color option. Gradient fill. Gradient can be defined as a combination of two or more colors mixing into each other. This option is used to format the background of your slide with two or more colors. You can choose the color of your choice by clicking on the down arrow of color option. Click on the desired options under gradient fill. This is how your slide will look before and after applying the gradient tool. Picture or texture fill. You can add a picture or a texture to the background of a slide. To add a picture, click on the insert button in picture source section. To add a texture, click on the drop down of the texture option. Here we added a texture in the background. Pattern fill. You can add a pattern of two colors to a slide background. Choose from the available patterns. You can also change the foreground and background colors. Inserting smart art. PowerPoint has an important feature called Smart Art. Smart Art Graphic is a visual representation of information and ideas through graphics, lists and designs which contain text. There are 8 categories of Smart Art Graphics. They are List, Process, Cycle, Hierarchy, Relationship, Matrix, Pyramid and Picture. To insert a smart art in your slide, follow the given steps. Step 1. Click on Insert tab. Step 2. Select Smart Art in Illustration group. A Choose a Smart Art Graphic dialog box appears. Step 3. Choose a category from the left section. Here we have chosen Cycle. Then choose a graphic layout from the middle section. 
as you click on a graphic layout option. A preview of the layout with its details appears in the right section. Step 4. Click OK button. The smart art is inserted on the current slide. Step 5. Click on text in each individual shape and type the desired text. 